Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Jesse Rush with Fling Bows, and I got Tegan, my son, with me. Say hi, Tegan. Hi. What are you doing, buddy? Good. Here, let's get you on this side so we can actually see you. Say hello. Hello. We're going to go dig up some heat treated flint. We do have a, um, a flint. <laughs> All right, come on, buddy. Come with daddy. Let's figure this out. All right, so yesterday what we did is we dug this hole about a foot deeper than that, uh, and we lined flint rocks. I had some bluish black material. Um, I don't know if it's chert or flint or what it is, but it was it was not napping very good. It was it was the hardest stuff to nap that I have. I had a bunch of material. I had uh, some Burlington. I threw two pieces of Burlington in there. We're gonna try to find all that. Um, a couple of pieces of like root beer colored stuff. It might be root beer chert. Um, some Texas chert, uh, but mostly it's that dark, dark bluish black stuff that I have. Um, and uh, it, it, I just, I beat the crap out of it and can't get a, can't get a blade out of it to save my life. Uh, I can, I can spall it, but it's just really hard to flint nap. So I broke it, I heat treated it. I don't know if I did it right or not. I, uh, I did a drying fire first um, for about 15 minutes and let it, you know, dry the sand out. Then I dug that out of there with the shovel, put the rocks in there, coated them with about three knuckles deep of sand, so I'd say an inch and a half, two inches. And then um, once I got that on there, and then I actually made a little bit deeper of a mound in the center because the center of the fire is usually the hottest area. I made that area maybe like three or four inches deep, um, like where I drew this circle just now, like right there in the center. Um, Hopefully you can see that, but this circle area, I made a mound um, of dirt and then over the rocks. And then I started a fire. Um, and then I let that burn all night. I mean, I substantial fire, you know, flames four feet tall. Um, and I let that burn for a while all the way down to coals. Then I spread the coals out around the edges and not really so much in the middle. And let that burn for a little while, just coals. And then I covered it with dirt. Um, you know, maybe a three or four hour long fire. And then I covered it with a, you know, a thin layer of dirt over the top of it. Um, as you can see, here's some of the charcoal right here. So it's not that deep. Um, it's the charcoal. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this out of here carefully as to not uh, hurt myself. But I'm going to try to dig all the charcoal out first. And just kind of throw it right up here. And uh, once I get this dug out, then I'm going to um, hopefully start pulling some chert rocks out, some flint. See if I can have my three-year-old run the camera. Son, can you hold this? Yeah. With one hand right here, just like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's still working. Here, hold it on the sides with both hands. Hold one here, just flat like that, and like this, okay? Okay. Hold one there, one hand on the other side. No, don't use your thumbs, just hold it like that. Okay? Okay. Well, you gotta move your fingers, baby. You gotta point it at the fire. Point it right there. Okay? So daddy can use both his hands to try to dig this out. Okay. I'm gonna use a shovel to get this done a little quicker, um, but I'm gonna be very careful with the work that I do with the shovel as not to break any of the rocks that I have. I can feel them. You can hear me kind of dinging them. Okay, let's get some of this sand out of here. All right, well, I see one of the rocks. This is a piece of that dark, this is a piece of that dark stuff right here. And uh, I'm not noticing a big difference from the outside, but here's a piece of that uh, uh, root beer stuff, and it's actually not really root beer anymore. More like a gray on the outside, but we'll see. Oh, how it 
if it changed it at all. This is more of that dark black stuff. It actually looks like a lighter bluish now. It was more dark black before. It had like a black to it. It's a little lighter on the outside anyway. Uh, more of that root beer stuff. You can kind of see. I don't know. Anyway, we'll separate it into two separate piles. I've got some chert in here. Yeah, see that definitely changed color to a lighter. You can almost see how it's darker over here and it's lighter in the center. That definitely changed some color. Uh, here's some more of the root beer. And it's got crystal deposits in it, so I, I don't know how great this is of a material, but more of that dark stuff. And it's definitely a lighter blue now. It was dark before. Texas chert almost looks like the root beer now. Let's see, Texas chert again, looking like root beer. There's some of that dark stuff. There's a piece of Burlington that I put in there. Hopefully, that changed. Who knows though. Definitely this dark stuff has a lighter blue quality to it now. And you can hear the difference. Uh, it sounds like glass clanking together. This is definitely dark stuff. Dark stuff. There's a lot of the dark stuff in there. I, that's the main reason why I did this is I wanted to get the dark stuff more nappable. I mean, you could nap it, but it just wasn't. wasn't wasn't napping very good. Get some of this out of here. Sorry if I'm not holding the camera very well. There's some dark... Wow, that changed dramatically. I said traumatically, like trauma. Uh, yeah, that all that red and stuff, it wasn't there. That's pretty cool. Mm. Some of this stuff, especially towards the center, seems like it really changed. So far. But you really don't know, I guess, until you start breaking it sounds like it changed good so anyway without further ado I'm not gonna let this video get crazy long like a lot of mine I'm gonna dig all this stuff out separate it into different piles um, you know Burlington Texas chert and root beer because it all seems to look exactly the same now and um, the dark blue stuff I got from North Carolina and uh, once I get, yeah, now see that doesn't look like the dark blue stuff at all anymore. It's like a charcoal gray, and that was dark blue. Um, anyway, dig all this stuff out of here, and um, I'll make another video for like a part two. Okay? All right, yeah, you can help me, buddy. All right, we'll see you guys in a second. Peace.